Hi, my name is Basti, and welcome to Basti Plays Minecraft. And in this episode, we're not alone. <laughs> Hi, my name is Basti, <laughs> and now I am alone. <laughs> so, we're not alone this episode, and there's a reason for it. Today, I've got some plans, and, and this guy happens to have done it once, so he's basically an expert. So, today we're building a... we're building a frog light farm, right? Yep, gonna feed some frogs. Gonna feed some frogs. Wait, that's right. The, the frogs are the ones eating. For some reason in my head, it, it's like, I feel like it's the, the slime. Would be a pain to collect frogs every time you need frogs. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna make a farm where the slime eats the frogs. Hey, oi, you, there. You okay? He's, he's fine. The ocean goat is fine. Okay, in order to build this this farm, we're gonna need a bastion, and we're gonna need a treasure one. That's fine. We know where one of those is. But the thing is, it's it's full of lava, so we're gonna need some sand. And and we all know where to get sand, right? We've we've been there multiple times. So let's go grab some sand. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Good sir. Here are your shulker boxes. Now go dig for me. <laughs> now that's what you got friends for. All right, all right, all right. The footage got corrupted. What about it? It happens to the best of us, you know? Okay, whatever you want, sand digging. Okay, here's your sand digging footage. Wow. Woo-wee. Y ahora volvemos nuestra programación habitual. And there we go. All the sand is gathered. And it's right here in these yellow shulker boxes. Because, well, sand is yellow, I suppose. Now, onwards to the fun part, right? The, oh my god, we're gonna die part. The, holy crap, what is that part? The, the, bastion at the bastion part. We're going bastionering. Is that a word? Let's Anyways, bastionate. We're, <laughs> bastionate. We're gonna have to defeat a bastion in order to make this farm. And as I said before, we know where one is. So that's not gonna be a problem. The problem is getting there. And the problem is defeating the bastion. So I suppose, you know, let's go to the bastion, huh? You ready? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now, the nether is a very fun place, and I love it dearly, as all of you familiar viewers know. And apparently, so does Smallhoob, because getting to the Bastion was a bit harder, let's say, than it might have, should have been. I'm gonna die. Oh, <laughs> you found him! <Help! laughs> you found him! Congratulations! You are the proud winner of the F*** Around and Find Out Award. <laughs> Okay, I am I lost. I thought I saw your name tag somewhere you shouldn't have been. Where you at, bro? You're flying towards me right now, to your right. Where? I can see oh. you. There you are. Yeah, ah. hi. I think we need to go this oh, way Oh no, up here. oh no, I'm actually gonna die. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, I found it. What, you did? Yeah, <laughs> I'm standing on it right now. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah, you, did you can it. see. <laughs> <laughs> when in doubt, just panic. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, clearly genius is at work here. If you thought finding the bastion would be hard, how do you imagine raiding the bastion went? Yeah, yeah, about like that. Yeah, probably exactly like you think. Yeah, like this. I'm so good with the bow. Stand still so I can hit you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so good. Stand still. Let's go in there. Hello, any brutes? I think Hello? we should go through this here. Is the German Coast Guard. That joke only works if you do the setup for it, you know? I want this stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm oh, going to keep this one. Speed. You're not going to get it. Did you find pig step? No? Yes. Oh my I god! Found do you know how many do you know how long I've spent looking for that thing? You I found it in the first step. chest. Oh man. Yes. Go put it in the chest. Okay. We cannot lose pig step. I put it in the end chest. Okay, we maybe the there's right no way? more stuff in this one. I think we're we're in the wrong building. Yeah, we are. It's I know we are, but it. you know, th okay. there's loot here. When did you say anything? <laughs> 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 because I wanted the loot. I wanted the loot. You did a bad thing, I think. This is the right one. 
now we just yes. gotta survive. That will be yes. easier Watch said out than done. Watch the Yeah, I thought you were gonna say the ghast because I just heard one. They are outside. But they do, from time to time, spawn inside. Oh, like this one, right here. Oh, oh, oh I'm so dead. I'm so dead. What, is, what oh. happened? <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> what? What? That's my bad. You're Sorry. <laughs> I know that's my bad. Why, wow. Best? Well, do I feel like a fool right now? You want to know something fun? I respawned in Bass Town. Yeah, I know. We don't have a respawn anchor or anything. I just realized <laughs> that. That's a problem. Let's go do that again. This time, no shooting each other. That should be a, no. a good rule to keep. Sure, oh, sure, I sure. got no arrows. Well, they I got some, some arrows, arrows on me. On More than one? I got 45. Oh, do you <laughs> Good need another job, one? man. <laughs> oh, do you need another one? Oh, do you need another one? Oh, wait. Stop. Oh, do you need another one? You. I'm gonna hit you. I'm gonna hit you. <laughs> so frustrating. Don't move when I'm shooting at you. It's so hard. Do you think I can jump down? Yeah, I think you can. I'm down here. Oh, I'm so brave. I am down before you. Dead. Dead. <laughs> Come on, that's fair. <laughs> that was uncalled for. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Who ran though? I'm so dead. That, that time, I did shoot you that time too, but you know that? <laughs> that's on <laughs> you. you. Did? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I'm sorry. Why? I was, I was gonna trying kill to run bro. away. Well, you know where the stuff is. It's right there. I can see it. I think we're done here, man. Hello, here I am. Hello. There's a hole right here. I would suggest not walking in there. Oh, okay. oh hello, sir. Uh, sorry, I it, I wasn't meant to be here. I wasn't meant to be here. <laughs> I see. Now, as you see, things went absolutely fantastic. About as smooth as things could have gone. And now that we have defeated this bastion very smoothly and very efficiently, thank you very much, we had to begin constructing the farm. And we had some first steps to do. What do we do now? We have to block the spawner, oh. and you uh, you put four blocks on every side of the spawner, and then we're gonna fill all the blocks between. Yeah. And make like a three-layer block. Okay. I got none of that, so. Yes. All right. We did it. The bastion is cleared, and now all we have to do is what he said earlier. I didn't follow. I got ADHD. That's my problem. Okay. Now this is the spawner. We're supposed to no. do stuff with it. I think the spawner is right here. Well, I can see the spawner stairs. right here, so, you know, I think what? it might be right about there. Oh, sorry. My bad. <laughs> okay, so, no. like, we do stuff with dirt on that thing, right? Yes, exactly. So we need to clear this. This bridge. Yeah. Okay, and then what do I do? Do I start placing sand or something? Yeah, it's just so we can uh, maybe get the lava to disappear. All right, so... How about this? But, uh, you take this pickaxe right here, <laughs> and I'll go start placing some sand, and we'll just time lapse this little part. That sounds like a good awesome. plan. Yep. Yeah. Zick, zick, zick. I'm go. I'm gonna go place sand. Okay. B bye. 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 <laughs> so if you didn't catch that among all the chaos, what we need to do now is encapsulate the spawner so that it doesn't spawn anymore. And we also have to cover all of the ground with sand. Actually, just a part of the ground, but I didn't know that at first. So we covered the entire ground with sand. Better that way anyways. That way we don't fall into lava all the time. Although that would be good content, I don't enjoy it very much. No. Alrighty. We've placed some sands. There are no more lava. The slime things have stopped spawning. And there's a hole. N now what? Uh, I think we need frogs. We need some frogs to eat this slimy, bully thingy. Yeah, okay, so yeah. let's go get frogs then. To the swamp! <laughs> okay. A small hoop. I found some okay, dead bowls. We now have some beautiful, beautiful tadpoles. I have about 11 or 12 of them, and I know Small Hoob has more. So we should be good for all the frogs that we need. Now we just need to find the right biomes for them. And I happen to know that through this portal here 
is two of them. We've got the warm and we got the temperate one. The hard part is gonna get the snow one. That 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 will be hard. But we'll 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 make it, I'm sure. I'm sure. Where did where did small hoop go actually? Oh there he is. <laughs> Hello, I was just asking where you were. Oh I got lost. Okay, so we got that bulls now. And uh, I guess we make frogs. I think first we should uh, put down the rail system. The rail system? Yeah. Exactly. A rail system. We need one of those because we need a hopper minecart to go beneath every single block and pick up all the frog lights, the magma cream, and all the other useless junk we put in that hole. Well done. <laughs> there we go. That should be the rail system. I mean, it's not the prettiest redstone I've ever built, but I mean, it's very functional. We should, uh, the chest be. What? Oh, right, the chest, yeah, that one. Uh, oh, you're so right about that. I think in here, probably. Okay, yeah, sounds perfect. Yeah. The only fun thing about that, mm -hmm. it's uh, behind these walls. <laughs> yeah, I'll show the people. We got a slight issue right behind this wall here, and it's this. It's, there's a little bit of a lava ocean right here. But we got these ones. Oh yeah, we have some fire resist yeah. potions, yeah, so we should be fine. Oh, because we're around so much lava and stuff. Maybe I shouldn't carry around all the tadpoles in my inventory. No, I'm oh. doing the same. Maybe we should place <laughs> them up there. Yeah, yeah, let's go do that. Then we're gonna have to figure out a way to make a road down there. Alright, people, we have a plan. So, this is gonna be the outline. I need to do my redstone stuff. We're gonna dig away this protective layer and then cover it all with sand. Okay, let's go. What you're watching us do now is remove lava from this hole right next to our other hole. But why would you do that, Basti? Well, as we explained, we need some space to put my redstone. My genius, genius redstone. We do have a rail system, but it's contained to the room. There's nowhere to drop off stuff, so the minecart's gonna travel underneath all of that stuff and then come out into this room we're digging now. And if my calculations is correct, this is where the minecart comes out. Right where you're standing. Would you kindly move, please, sir? I need to do it like... Like that. Now we can do... Oh, I'm, I'm wrong. Awesome. I'm wrong. I'm just wrong. I'm just wrong. Boop. But now we have a little tunnel for the minecart to come through. Wow, it's gonna feel a lot more special now that it comes through this tunnel here. Awesome. Now the minecart's yeah. just gonna come in here and I'm gonna do some redstone magic right about here. So that should be fine. The reason we did this was because we need to make the floor so we can just drop the frogs later when we're done with them. All right, let's get down there. Whee! <laughs> oh, it's not that far. What you're watching right now is me and Small Hoop placing down the floor where the frogs will live and the slimes will spawn onto and get eaten and stuff. It's the floor, you know, it's the floor. This is it. Come here, come here. How are you gonna get out now? Oh yeah, you can get out. Yeah, I can, I can. Look at him out there, snaking his way through. Oh, there he goes, pop goes the weasel. This is awesome. one of the most beautiful things I've ever built, I feel like. Oh, nice. Now that is looking way better. It's like a Pokeball. You're right. All right, so we got a floor, now what? We could uh, start with putting the powdered snow in as well. Oh yeah, that's true. Then it's only like the the hopper minecart and stuff. And we can start to let the frogs grow up and jump in. All right, well, let's do that. So it should be like one block up, right? We could do it like this. Yeah, exactly. Exactly like that. All right. You get me. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Snow. No, I'm not picking that up. <laughs> that seems <laughs> counterproductive. Oh, I'm out of snow. Oh, <laughs> me as well. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Did we not bring enough? <laughs> Man. <laughs> we don't need that many. <laughs> uh. <laughs> one, a two, and a three, and four. Awesome. Then we take that one. And now you see, now the big magma will take damage and uh, another of the other. Yeah, not the will. small ones. Not the small ones, not the frogs. Now it's only the frogs and like release the magma and stuff, I think. All right. I and guess let's flying. go breed some frogs. Awesome. So outside of this beautiful portal we have right in our bastion, we have this warm climate right here in the mesa. 
Yeah, it's a spiky mace. Yeah, it's a rare one. Oh, there's a floating island right there. And we also have this river biome, which is, as you all probably know, a temperate zone. So from the warm climate over there, we should get the red frogs. No, the white ones. I can never get and that from right. From the temperate, we'll get the orange ones. All right. Yeah, so you go do your froggy breedy things over there and I'll do some over here. And I'll join you over there soon. All you need to make a frog enclosure is some high walls so the frogs can't jump out. Some water below so that the tadpoles can swim around in it. And no way for the tadpoles to jump up onto land and accidentally perish. Unfortunately though, that gives the whole enclosure a kind of a prisony look. And as you can see... Today is all about humane building. Wow, they're gonna love it in here. People, let's start breeding some frogs and maybe have a bit of a sleep because it's getting late. All right, first frog is in. First tadpole at least. They can jump out, right? And drown out here. So let's stop that real quick. Let's see how it's going for my dear friend Small Hoob. What doing? Oh no, one's gonna die, one's gonna die, one's gonna die. Get down, get down in the water. I've gotten my tadpole situated as well. Do you wanna see? <laughs> Mine too is very humane. As you can see right here. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> it's like a prison. <laughs> very humane. Yeah, perfect. We didn't no. have any more uh, slimes, right? Well, we did have like 17, but that's, that's not gonna be enough. No. So I guess we'll just wait then. All right. Here's for waiting. We have a prison and we have frogs. We have loads of them. We have more than we need, which is a good thing because they're frogs. They can die. It's more of an inevitability than a uh, risk. So we have excess. Let's see. Let's see how small Loop is doing. Hello. <laughs> Why are your they frogs are everywhere. outside of here? Oh, you I got had three like here. nine frogs inside of here and everybody's jumped out and they're spread across the mountain. <laughs> oh, I see that. That they're all the way up to the top. Yeah, they're, they're, they're here. <laughs> You're not acting like frogs, man. Do you want to go grab some leads or something? Yes, we need that. Let's go grab leads and come back and put your frogs somewhere safe. We have acquired leads. Now it's time to wrangle frogs. And why? While we wrestle these frogs into place, we can talk about a few ways we could get our frogs into the hole. Now we have our nether portal on top of the bastion, so we need to get them safely down to the hole before we drop them in. And to get them down, there's a few ways. Number one, we could build a staircase and gently lower them down, that would be a good option. Or we could dig a hole all the way down and drop them. Guess which one we chose? Do you think it's a good idea to take all of them at once? I think that's a really yes. bad idea. I think it's a perfect idea. We should just make a stair downstairs. That is true, but let's make the stair first then. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Or we could mm -hmm. just make a big hole straight down with powdered snow at the bottom. No, not powdered snow, just snow. Let's just make a stair. I think that's the best. No, I want to drop now. Okie dokie. Let's dig down here. I think let's go with the regular snow idea. I like that one more. We can go grab a yeah. bunch of it and just place it yeah. everywhere down there. That way there's no chance of us falling down into the like redstone hole either. Grab as many frogs as you can. Grab them all. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this. How many did you get? Uh, you got most of them. Drop the there frogs. There we go. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I think we managed to kill all the frogs. There's not a single <laughs> one alive. <laughs> but I didn't think you would take fall damage from snow. <laughs> Do we take fall damage from snow? I bet people in the comments are screaming at us like, Oh, you can't land on snow! Don't do it! <laughs> Let's go do that again. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Everything is fine. You know what? I'm leaving <laughs> this place. <laughs> they broke the portal! 
Once the chaos settled down and we revived ourselves from dying from laughter, Smallhoob had a brilliant idea. Uh, I do have another idea. So if we take the coordinates on these two yeah. and move the portal straight down. <laughs> God, that's a good idea. And so it turns out, Small Hoop's ID is absolutely brilliant. Man, you think you know a guy? And he's been a genius this whole time? Man, we grew up together for Christ's sake! Yeah, awesome. Now we have a portal, and uh, hopefully this will work. Okay, count me down. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> so, after Small Hoop's absolute brainstorm, our collective IQ simmered down to a breezy Swedish summer, and we gathered the last surviving frogs and made some more tadpoles, then we pulled the frogs to their final destination. Let's go, come on, move it. I think we're gonna have to climb this mountain in order to do this safely. Oh, there's a ravine there. Oh, are they gonna die in the walls now? Would you go through and check? Oh, no, they, they are fine. Are they gonna die when it, we drop them? No, they be, no, they, they should they be should fine. They sh they'll be yeah. fine, yeah, for sure, they they'll be fine. They got snow as well. Oh, they fell, oh no, oh my god. There's a hole here. Come on! Get out of there! You can jump like 15 blocks. Okay, there we go. How do you like my frog dangling? It's awesome. Oh! Nice. They did take damage. Well, they're fine. Can I have a rocket? You greedy son of a gun. Yeah, of course. <laughs> they're right there. Right, right, right here. There's one rocket. You got one chance. Can you make it? He makes Without it! Without any damage. Oh, we shouldn't come up here anyways. We should go grab the tadpoles. Oh, they haven't hatched yet, so we're good. Yeah, they shouldn't be able to hatch when we're in the nether, right? You know, should is not a very strong word. They should survive the fall to the snow as well. <laughs> People are gonna think we're idiots, man. <laughs> anyway, you guys don't think I'm an idiot, right? <laughs> right? Right? <clears throat> anyways. We got frogs! Ah, yeah, we got frogs! Small Loop has already inside. put some in there. I got the rest of them here. I got six of seven of six of them, I think. I got a hundred and twenty-two. He got a hundred and twenty-two. That's kind of an impressive number of frogs to have. Yeah, uh, one have disappeared though. So I took some of yours. <gasps> oh look but how much better be this is working! <laughs> the portal thing really works! <laughs> wow. Look at this. I'm pushing them off. Up. Great dangling. <laughs> I just launched in there, huh? Look at all the frogs. Almost all colors. Yeah, this is almost a working farm now. We do not have a minecart yet, though. We do not. Maybe we should fix that. That couldn't be too hard to build. Let's build one. With hindsight, I regret saying that. All right, people, we have a working redstone system and it works like this. We have a hopper minecart going along all of these rails right here. Once it hits the end, it'll go back and it'll pick up stuff along the way. Then it goes out into this place. It'll turn up this stuff and go in there. And why does it go in there? Well, because as it is now, the minecart will just pass on through without anything happening. But as soon as there's some items in there, it'll stop and unload all of the items. I told you this in the last video, it's the same kind of system, but this time we're not using a redstone torch. So, we have a comparator checking this detector rail, checking if there's items in the minecart. And if there is items, it'll send a signal to this repeater, which amplifies the signal to signal strength of 15. And that powers this block, which powers this redstone, which powers this block, which extends the piston. So, as long as there are items in this minecart, it'll be locked in there and dumping items into these hoppers. We don't need you anymore for this demonstration. Once the minecart unloads the stuff, it'll go through a chain of hoppers into this chest, where it goes into another chain of hoppers, leading in to a glass elevator right here. So there's one dropper shooting blocks into a glass tube, basically. And the items then continuously go up along this glass tube. As you can see here, this is a glass tube. And once it gets here, it shoots out the only possible way it can go, which is here. And then it slides along the ice into this hopper, into the chests, and Bob's your uncle, we have a working system. So let me show you this. I put stuff in here, like so. And then if we take the cheetah can all the way up again, you can see that items 
is coming through right there. Look at that. Look at this beauty. That is so cool. They just keep bouncing up this. I saw this in Tango's redstone shop in the Hermitcraft world and thought, hey, this would be the perfect thing to use here because I can't use a water elevator because it's the nether. Everything is more complicated here. And so that is our working redstone. And I am once again, the redstone genius, Basti. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It is my pleasure, honestly. Enough demonstrating. Let's actually... <sighs> yeah, that's... Uh, I mean, it was bound to happen, right? Well, anyways, most of his stuff is up there now. What did I say? Enough dilly-dallying. Let's actually complete this circuit and send a minecart racing about. And we'll see if it actually makes it all the way. I haven't tested that part yet, so it might not work. I'm just hoping at this point. Now we've got one step left before this is an actual working farm. And we're probably gonna get some, some dirt in the system. Yeah. So with all the redstone done, all the frogs in place, the powdered snow where it's supposed to be, the hole dug, everything completed. Now we just remove the dirt and it should be working. And that should be it. That should be like a working farm now, right? Yeah. Can I see the minecart picking stuff up? He might be offloading dirt as we speak. That's true. It was a lot of dirt. But they don't disappear. I think... Uh, oh, what? What? How has this happened? It's stuck. It's stuck what? in the weirdest way I've ever, ever seen. What is this? Okay, so the redstone has its flaws. It's minor. We can work with it. Besides, I fixed it. And now it's a working farm. Dude, we we did it. We did. We made a functioning farm. Awesome. Dude, this is working. Man, we're geniuses. I, Who knew? I for sure didn't. I got so much experience. Yeah. Oh no, I, got no <laughs> I can <rockets>. see that. <laughs> there you go. It's one rocket. You got one try. Make it good. Oh no! 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 no. <laughs> Wow, what a great conclusion to this fantastical <laughs> adventure. i sure glad he came and helped. <laughs> I mean, the farm is working. The redstone is absolutely genius. It's absolutely foolproof. Nothing can go wrong. <laughs> this is stupid. This has been awesome. Now let's go say goodbye to our friend, Small Hoobs. Hi, mister. I was just saying how we're gonna say goodbye to you now. Man, you sure died a lot today. What's your death count? Oh, it's only 21. <laughs> that's, that's decent. That's almost half of what I have. That is so cool. This is working. And now we just need to get the last frog type in there. And this is a working farm. And it has been an ordeal. <laughs> but we got there in the end. We only killed like nine frogs, right? In the process of this. Oh, I think eight. Eight frogs. That's decent. All right. Let's cut to the next part where I will fix the last part of the this farm and get the last frogs, yeah? Yeah, how about that? See you then! All right, people. First couple of frogs are in. Small hoob has left and we're on our own again. The only thing now is that we still have one more color frog that we need to get a hold of. And that is the cold one. The ones that we can grow right here. The problem is the bastion is a little bit of ways away, so we're gonna have to find a way to actually get the frog over there. Like, the easiest method to do it would be through the nether roof, but I don't know how to get up there, and that is a bit of a problem. Hmm. You know, if only there was someone who could help me. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi. Do you happen to know how to get up to the nether roof? Yes. I do, actually. Can you also uh, <laughs> fix nether portals? Yes. <laughs> That's all we need! Do you know what we're doing? Um... Ish? That's good enough. That's good enough. We we need to get object from point A to point B without killing said object. And the object is a frog. We shouldn't kill them. We already killed eight, so I mean... <laughs> That's, with, with, that's <laughs> a few of them. We can't do much worse than that, so... I mean, it, let's it, go. It'll probably be fine. Yes, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. And so, with the new recruit on my side, we started plotting a way to get to the nether roof. Because the easiest way to get the frogs from Bass Town to the Bastion is over the nether roof. And so, we started looking for a portal location. Let's just build it 
here and see if it works. It should work. Okay, right here. No, 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 no. Right here on the edge. Oh, no, I've destroyed the blocks. I'll replace it with wool. It looks the same. Does it? Does it yes. now? Don't you see? I feel like I slightly can tell that this is wool. What? No. Where is it? <laughs> Holy <It's> shit. <laughs> I couldn't see it. With a suitable location found, we built the portal, and then it was time to find our way up to the nether roof. Should my elytra be functioning as well? Yes. Did yours also fail? Yeah, it kind of broke. Now, where yeah. is the coordinates? Uh, they are... Hold on. Wait, we don't really need to know that yet. We need to go as high as we can first. Should we just dig us up? Or should we try uh, to fly up somewhere and then dig us up? I think we're pretty high, actually. Okay, start digging us up. Yeah. I think this particular wall right here looks really dig upable. Yes, good. I do like a good dig upable wall. Should it be straight or should we turn around? Whatever. You I think prefer. I think we should turn around. There's no Perfect. reason to it, but we should anyways. Oh, I found it. Yes. Now dig out uh, a little bit bigger part to see if you can find the highest wall. It's here. Maybe even higher. Let's see. I don't remember the exact coordinates of the highest block, but that's fine. Okay. So now we just throw up pearl there. Where do you say? Right here. Uh, yes. You need to throw it just on the corner of the block, so it should be up slightly like above. Like that. Yeah. And jump, jump. Yeah. I could have done that myself. Yeah, it's super easy. Now find the coordinates. Who knew it was that easy to get up to the nether roof? I mean, why do we even need this guy? <laughs> Anyways, it was time to find the coordinates for the nether roof portal. Unfortunately, though, we forgot something quite important. It's right it's where you're standing, right here. Oh, uh, you know what I forgot? No. We didn't light the portal in the other side. Should we have? Yes. <laughs> It's too late now. Yeah, well, let's see. This is a uh, experiment number one. Three, two, one. Let's go. Where do we end up? Yes. Hey, this looks correct. No, this is wrong. No, this is wrong. This is your other portal. Yeah, we failed it. Okay. So we had to break the nether roof portal and light the one we already had, rebuild the nether roof portal, and then light that one again. <sighs> Can stuff just go right for once? <laughs> Dude, I I'm, I'm not very healthy at the moment. Oh. I can tell. Oh, this is very annoying. Okay, what? Have you lit it now? Am I am I ready? Okay, then I lit it. Choof. And now you should lit choof. And see if I come up next to you. Yes. You're here. Perfect. Right where I should be. Yes. Mission successful! We should probably go and find out what the coordinates are in the nether where we need to go. Yes. It's easy to bring them downhill, so let's build a port up, up, up here then. Yeah, probably, yeah. I oh, mean, there's a frog here. Should we bring that? You found it? What? We searched all over for this guy! <laughs> <laughs> and so, with one of our portals connected to the nether roof, we needed another one, and we decided that this hill would be the perfect spot for it. Right here. This is the froggy portals. Oh, maybe I should take the coordinates, actually. Otherwise, my brother will be disappointed in me. He likes coordinates, that man. Look at this biome, though. Isn't it insane? This is Wait, where is all of these frogs coming from? <laughs> have you have you lost even more? No, there's more here. There's two more here. Where Wait, did they come what? from? Did you accidentally breed them? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe this. What? I don't think I'll ever understand frogs, really. But anyways, now it was time to light our portals. Or at least... We need to build one on the nether roof, but this time we're smart about it. So we're gonna split up and build one portal each and light it separately. That way we can quickly connect the portal. Easy peasy, no problems. What could possibly go wrong? If for, for some reason it's hard to use a calculator. Oh, they, they don't damn do it. <laughs> why, don't, why don't I come to you, by the way? I'm, I'm doing this great. No, because, well, I, I've got a feeling you're not gonna be able to finish this project oh yeah that's oh ah mm. yeah yes you don't really have any obsidian do you no yeah i'm coming i said i'm a genius <laughs> sorry that might have been loud hello this is the block see you on Perfect. the other side boys we are correct Correctness has been made, I think. Yes. Look, there's more frogs here. Oh, perfect. You we don't need through. these ones, though. Okay, should I kill them? I mean, I'll look the other way, 
And if there happens to be not frogs anymore, I'm okay with that. Oh, what's that sound? Was it a bird flying above? Let's go to the breeding place then. Oh, wait, we need to get fetch the frogs first, I guess. Yeah, well, let's get the frogs first, yeah. Yes. I saw that. That was horrible of you. I'm calling Pete up. Call. Wow, it's amazing what you can accomplish when you've got a friend by your side. This job would have probably taken me an hour quicker to do by myself. Now, we had at least only a couple of steps left. And first of which is we need to make a frog enclosure and breed some frogs. We're good. Put all of them in there. I'm working on it. That is all. Nice. Now we wait. You want an ender pearl? No, I have some. Look at this. Oh, that skills. Wow, this is gonna be exciting, man. Watching frogs grow? Wow. It just by a margin beats watching paint dry. Yeah, I mean, there's a little bit too much movement in this. I, I prefer paint. Yeah, I yeah. get a little bit overstimulated looking at this. Should we cover this? I guess we could. I don't know why we should. Let's make up our core course. Okay. And so, we spent a good hour trying to make a parkour course. I mean, it was pretty fun. I don't know what to tell you. Sometimes, all you need to have fun is just some goofy-ass friends. And lots of creativity. That helps. This episode has been a little bit of a strange one, huh? There's been a lot of voiceovers. There's a reason for that. Because I put everything... I had filmed so far into the video editor and saw that it was like six hours of footage and when I edited it down it was still like an hour and a half long and I couldn't make sense of it so that's what the voiceovers are for to make this chaos make sense but I kind of like this video making process as well I just need to learn it it's a skill like anything I've gotten better at my normal style, so that doesn't take super long to make. It still takes a long time, don't get me wrong, but this video, man, this was tough. But I had to learn a lot of new stuff, and a lot of new ways to make videos. And I hope you liked this type of video from me, it was kind of fun. I will probably do more of this kind as well. I wonder if you even can tell the difference from my usual videos. Probably. You probably can tell. It's a lot of more cutting and less time lapse and way more goofiness. The goofiness though, we love that. I have had Kotte on the channel before, but Smallloop is new to it and he really wants to get into content creation as well. So it's been really fun including him and it's hopefully you'll see more of him on this channel and hopefully on his own channel, which he hasn't made yet, I think, soon. But before that, frogs have grown up. Oh, that's perfect. I'm out of rockets. Uh, how many leads do you have before you break any walls? One. I was just gonna break the wall, how did you know? <laughs> no, just small hoop did exactly the same thing. <laughs> I'm back. Oh, wait, maybe you should have some leads with you. Here's five of them. We could open this up a little bit more. Pull your frogs. I don't know how many you got. It's a bit hard to tell. I think Those almost ones. all of the frogs got through now. I'll go through and see what happens. I don't, don't have all the leads though. No, that's fine. That's completely normal. Hello, frogs. Okay, should we fly with these? No, we should walk them. Like civilized people. I think you can fly. Well, you can fly them, you just can't take off with them. In yeah. that case, we need like a scaffolding pillar up and then start flying them. Oh no, we can fly with them, right? Or? No, it's gonna break the leads. I don't know, can't you just do this? Turns out you couldn't do that. So we dragged the frogs all the way to the bastion, which wasn't that far in reality. Let's be real. It's the nether roof. It's pretty quick. And then it was just a matter of putting them in and calling it quits. Kind of. Should That's I just push right. them down now? Yeah, we just pull them into the pit of despair. I'm just gonna wait for these froggies. Did you get four of them? Three. Do, have I miscounted again? I got five of them. That doesn't make nine. No. But it does make enough. Did one go back or three is in there at least? Yeah, that's good. I'm getting I'm getting a bit pummeled in here. Though I hear a frog somewhere. Is it squelching around in here? You know where he could be? I think he could be down here. I found him. Typical frog behavior. Oh you took him through there. That works too. <laughs> I mean, he did take damage. <laughs> But I give you points for creativity. <laughs> With all the frogs in the pit of despair, 
it was finally time to glass this entire thing off, making sure no more slimes could spawn outside of the farm. And then... We're done. Incredibly, we actually got done. Somehow. Hey, wow, look at that. It's a farm. We should build this in our future server. Which is coming at some point. Not not yes. as soon as I said it would, <laughs> but but soon. Yes, I I think it's my fault. It, it might be your fault, yeah. But don't worry, there will be a new series going on anyways. Me and my dear friend Smallhoob, that you saw earlier in the episode, have a little bit of a series that we're gonna do for y'all. So, there, there will be that, and there will also be Bastion Place Minecraft. That's not going away, ever, hopefully. I want it to continue forever. This world is cool, and it could be so cool if I just keep going at it. Should we, should we, should we ask them? The people. Do you guys have any suggestions for a cool name for a SMP server with three idiots and maybe some more people? If we find more they're people? Th Are you more, more people, people and want to join <laughs> us in a SMP adventure? Then reach out to IamCool at gmail.com and you'll reach someone who's not me. And then you can DM me on whatever service you find. Join the Discord for God's sake. That's a yes. good way. Join the Discord. We'll have a chat about it. And we'll see if, if you if you if you vibe with us, then then you're welcome to join. It's great. The Discord is good. There, there's people there. They they talk about things. They do talk about things in there. And you'll get to know when I post new stuff, which is a good perk of being in the Discord. Wow, that was that was smooth for some reason. Yeah, this was this was easy. Yeah, it's only an hour and a half. Wow, we're geniuses. I th I think I need to go now and take care of my real life problems. So you're gonna leave now. Yeah, probably gonna fly back to the closet. You know, let's go back to the closet then. Well, this is gonna be fun to edit. I've got several hour-long clips now. Yep. And it's gonna all go into an episode less than 40 minutes. But for now, we should high-five and I'll let you go on your merry way. Oh, I need to have my hand free. Yeah. Three, two, one. High-five! High-five! Nice. Bye! See you later, bro. Bye! See ya! See ya! I can see the arrow sticking out of the closet. Oh. What, what arrow? Oh, I have an arrow in my face. <laughs> what arrow looks like a porcupine? <laughs> well, bye. Goodbye. Well, that was fun. Now we got a working frog light farm. We should probably empty that at some point. And I will probably, maybe, AFK it a bit. Uh, now I just need to figure out what I'm supposed to do with frog lights. Why did I build the farm again? Hmm. Well, at least we have it now. Oh, and speaking of things we have now, this is a thing. This parkour course, I am going to have to do something with that. I might move it somewhere else, but I really want to keep the course because it's kind of fun, you know? This jump is not easy. Of course, I've practiced this a little bit in the video, as you saw. That jump is hard now. This jump is next to impossible, but it is makeable. You just have to jump at the exact right time. This parkour course is now a part of the Basti Place Minecraft world, and it's just gonna have to be there, or someplace. We're gonna make it look better, though. Maybe that's a thing for next episode. Who knows? All I know is that this is all I have time for this week. And yeah, it's a bit strange having an episode for just one project. I usually finish two, or do at least a bit of building. I'm gonna count this parkour course as the building portion for today, because, well, this video has become quite a handful, really long. In fact, I said in the last clip there was gonna be below 40 minutes, but that's just not true. That's a lie. It's it's above 40 minutes. It's, it's quite a bit above 40 minutes, actually. So if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Even if you just watch a portion of it and skip to the end and saw this, thank you so much. And I would also like to say a huge thank you to my brother, Kotte, and Smallhub, and I've known them both my whole life. I would like to say thank you very much to both of them for joining me this episode. It's been a blast, and I look forward to do more stuff with them in the future. But, as I said, this is it for now. You know the deal, like the video, leave a nice comment, subscribe to the channel, join the Discord, and whoever you are, I wish you a good day, night, morning, or whatever it is, wherever you are. And until I see you next time, in whatever form it is, bye!